So in order to begin, we're going to learn how to replicate a variable and so we can use it on a clean side. The first thing we're going to do is create a new project. Third person and C++. We're going to call it um, CPP Networking Tooth. Name it how, however you want. Once our project is ready, we will have Visual Studio opened and ready to be used. I'm, I'm going to see my... I have two Visual Studio opened. It's because one will be like my cheat in order to achieve some things. It's the finished one. Alright, so, first of all, let's begin and, and we're going to declare a new variable. This one is going to be health. It could be any, anything really, it's just to show the replication of variables. I want to add that uh, after creating the project, the project we... Uh, when to play and uh, set number of players to two in order to get a client uh, in the game. Okay, so first off, we go uh, to the header of our character and we're going to declare a new variable called health. It's going to be a replicated variable. We declare it on the public space of our header file. Um, in order to make the engine know that we're replicating this variable, we need we need to add a new function to our code. It's called get lifetime replicated props. Alright, so we copy and paste it in our CPP file. Once that, we want to make sure that our Unreal Network um, macro is well, it's defined on. our code as well so let's go and copy paste it well the header file not the, not the macro sorry sorry the header file so we copy and paste it we need this in in order to use this function Alright, now that we're ready, we're going to hit compile from the engine. We're not going to compile from Visual Studio because it kind of gives some errors sometimes. And this is probably the fastest way that there is to compile in Android Engine 4. So let's hit compile and wait. Now that we got our uh, variable replicating and all, we need to make sure that it is so. So we're going to create a new uh, actor that it's going to increase our health and 
from the server and then check from the client if it's doing so. So let's go and create our new uh, character. Let's go to file and then new C++ class. We're going to look for an actor. Actor since all right, it's going to be placed on the world, it's going to have location and components and all of the uh, Unreal Engine stuff. So let's hit next. And we're going to call it... Um, and we're going to call it Pickup. All right, let's create our new class. Hit create class. So now that we have created our pickup actor, we're going to define some components on it in order to interact with it in the world. So let's declare a new static mesh and a new box component on the header file. Uh, and also root because we want to attach both. Alright, now the uh, initiations on the constructor. Let's pick it up. Alright. Now that we're done, we're going to hit compile and that's done. Alright, now that the class is created and all, and everything is set up, like components, and everything is ready to be used in our networking game, let's go and make our own uh, pickup blueprint. So let's go hit here, blueprint class, and let's search for pickup. Alright, pickup, let's select. And we're going to call it BP Pickup. Alright, but now everything it's it's not initiated. It doesn't have a static mesh and all that. So let's go and and assign the company something. So it's less boring. We see the uh, the static mesh. Let's assign something. Uh, let's do the cube. But we see that the cube now it's bigger than the uh, box com collision component. So let's make the box bigger. Let's use 128. Alright. Now it's ready to be used. But anyways, we still need something. We need to declare our new input. So we can then use it in the, in the code. So let's go to input. And uh, active mapping. So let's uh, start a new one. Let's call it use with E. Use with E. It's going to be triggered whenever... Well, use. It's going to be triggered whenever we... Uh, we press uh, letter E in the keyboard.
E. All right. Now that it's done, it's we're ready to go to the next step, which is declare our new input in the code. All right. Now that we have our input set up on the editor side, we need to set it up on the code side. So let's begin. Let's go to set up player input. Let's uh, type our new input. Just like this thing, like jump or anything else. Uh, let's declare the new function that we're going to use. So let's go for it. Alright, once we've done our use function, we declared it on the uh, header file. And it's ready to get used. It's here too. Alright, everything is ready. Alright, let's go and print a debug message into the screen. For this we're going to use the uh, blueprint default uh, pre pre print string uh, node. And we're going to call it from character we're using. Alright, after this let's hit compile and see if it works. Alright, now that we have compiled our code successfully, we're going to uh, uh, make sure it works. So let's go hit play, press E, and we see that a message in the left side appears. Alright, now let's go to the next step. It's using the remote procedure calls in order to know that our variable is being being replicated successfully. Alright. Now that uh, when we press E everything works, we need to make a server function, our first RPC function, which is going to be called server use, like this. I'm going to uncomment it. I read this previously. Alright. This is our declaration in the header file for our RPC function server use and now we go to the source. Alright, now we do the definition. We need both the uh, implementation function and the body that function, nothing else. Only these two things. It's uncommented. We do in the implementation that uh, we broadcast a message. Every everything in the implementation function will be executed whenever the uh, function server use gets called. All right. So, well, now in the use function, we just call it. All right. So when we use from the server or from the client, we make sure we call as well server use. So our server stuff gets executed. Alright, let's go and compile and see the, resu the results. Alright. Now that it's compiled, let's test the results. So from the server, we call the implementation stuff. And if we go to the client side, We, from the client, we call a server function, so we can communicate between the server and the client, the implementation stuff. Alright. Alright, now that we've got our server function working and all, we're going to execute uh, 
a call in the server implementation of all the actors that we are overlapping with the uh, character capsule component. Alright. For this we... We declare a new array. Hold on. All right. So we declare a new array. And then it is. And we get our capsule component with a function declared. And then we we iterate the array after it's been assigned to the overlapping actors and basically in here the, the class of our pickup would go we, we're basically here casting our variable in C++ castings are a little bit complicated but they are effective. Alright, um, pick up. Alright, but anyways, for the uh, cast, for the uh, cast actor, we need um to define in the implementation the header file of our pickup in order to cast it we need it so also we plus this message to make sure it's looping from cut here looping all right then we go to the header file I mean sorry up from the source file and we include the pickup header Alright, now that we're done... Oh, hold on. I need to... Command something and that we're going to do later. First, let's make sure that our function works all right let's compile and see the result all right let's hit play and press e well we see that when we get uh, close to the uh, cube, the pickup, we get a call uh, called looping because we're getting another overlapping actor. If we go to the client, we get the same result. And if we go out, we see that we don't see the looping anymore. That's because we're not overlapping any actors at all. Alright, after we've done this, we're gonna um, call a function inside the test pickup in order to do stuff with it. In the pickup actor, which is going to be called get picked. So let's declare it on the header file. Let's write it. 
you have it and then we set the definition in the source file which is going to be something like this so basically it says that whenever the pick the e item gets picked we set the owner uh, as the, the picker and the picker health uh, gets increased by 25 points um, we need to remember that if we then if an actor doesn't have an owner which is a client like a client pound or something uh, it doesn't replicate so let's set the owner the picker from the server side of course if it's not from the server side it doesn't work alright now that we have it let's also uh, write uh, in include a cpp networking to character in the uh, pickup file so we can then uh, perform operations on it so it does know that it is this okay we see that our error has gone away because we did it all right now we'll hit jump pal and have fun all right now that it's done compiling and everything successfully let's make sure that we call the function whenever we use the actor all right we see that it's committed commented a time commented or write it if you need it but basically after we cast the actor in here we cast it into a pickup uh, let's use it if if the pickup exists if it happens it exists let's uh, get it picked and as the, um, the parameter we're sending it's going to be us so this it's like it's like saying self from blueprints in c++ it's this instead of self all right so let's call it uh let's hit compile all right now that we successfully compiled alright now that we are done and the function get picked was declared and, defini and defined and all let's make sure it works so let's press E and we see that the item gets picked the uh, message that we included uh, gets called and it shows in the screen if we go to the client we get the same result from the server side because remember we the server chain was activated and the functions get called all right now that we're done doing this we're going to make sure our health variable gets replicated to do that we're going to uh, use the rpc functions we're going to use the client rpc function in order to do this alright now that we're done basically uh, with the overlapping actors and the get picked function we are going to do that whenever the actor gets picked we also uh, get to know uh, how much more health we have how, man how many health we have and if it was replicated to the client whenever it was set to something else so let's declare a new function called server broadcast health then client that's what it does it's self-explanatory uh, it tells uh, from the server side how many health we have and afterwards uh, it broadcasts the health from the uh, client side all right Let's declare our new function. Uh, 
Um, before everything else, let's make sure that our actor replicates. So we can use client fun functions. So from the uh, constructor, we use set replicates to true. All right. All right. Now that uh, we we're done and it replicates and all, it's set to true. Let's uh, de declare our no new two variables and define them. It's going to be a server function, server broadcast health, and then client, and then a client function called client broadcast health. It's going to be a cl client function and reliable. All right. Let's go to the uh, definition. All right. Now in the definition, we basically define it. All right. We're not going. We're going to use this function later. It's going to tell us uh, the health that we have. But it's going to be called by a timer. All right. All right, basically what this does is that we have an owner, right? That we said previously. Um, we're going to take it. We're going to cast it into a CPP to the character because it's a character. And we're going to broadcast its health. We're going to convert its health into a string and concatenate it. All right. Also... All right. It's going. It's for like this. Well, it doesn't tell us any if that there is any error. So it's fine now. All right. Let's compile. So basically, we declare these two functions here. And we define them with the implementation and the validation for both. Let's compile. All right, now that it's compiled. Uh, we're going to use a timer. Alright, so now that we have our both uh, functions, our PC functions up, uh, declared and all, we're going to use a timer. So, uh, let's write this function that we set that we were gonna use clean uh, tell health timer based it's called timer based because it's getting to be called by timer let's also declare it on a header file All right. uh, now uh, let's use the timer let's also call here uh, server how many health we have because uh, we, we need to know it, right? So it's going to tell uh, our health. And also, let's uh, declare this timer. Uh, we need a handle, so make sure you declare the handle. Right here. Here. Alright. 
Now that everything is ready and everything well it's committed out and everything is rolled down now let's uh, hit compile and see what happens well also uh, to make this uh, more effective let's change our colors on the uh, messages we're going to display so in here let's change the color to red green to green for the client if they, we see green it's the client so it's one and for the uh, server it's going to be blue straight blue all right um re let's remember that our health let's compile let's remember that our health uh, before this it's zero so it's going to be added uh, 25 units on it and and so we're going to have different health let's remember that the client is uh, slow to get uh, the variables replicated it's not the same speed so we use the timer right okay let's test it out let's hit play let's press E and we see the health from the server is 25 and from the clean it's 25 as well so it w the variable was replicated let's try now for for the client for the server it's 25 and for the client it's 25 all right everything works all right let's m let's do something to make sure it replicates and it's effective we're going to uh, change the replication of the variable to not replicated and so we're going to see the difference between it be getting replicated and not re getting replicated all right so we need to make that health is not replicated anymore to check the difference so let's begin re removing the replicate thing and in the uh, character let's also remove the get left some replicated props all right let's see the difference all right, let's compile. All right, let's play. Let's get the client. All right, it's a client. And okay, we press E from the from the server it's 25 but from the client it's 0 because it was not replicated it is 0 because it was not replicated at all so that's basically it that's all for this tutorial I will continue with the uh, red notify pattern later so if you like it keep watching